How do you find these lost tribes, and how do we do, how do you determine that they are really a lost tribe of Israel? Well, it's a very good question. First of all, uh, how do we find these lost tribes? Uh, we we really uh, don't. They're already they're, they've already been revealed uh, in the places that we're working. Uh, the Ethiopian Jews uh, were discovered uh, well. Uh, back in the 1950s, and as early as 1982, Israel began to take these Ethiopian uh, Jews to Israel. There's 130,000 Ethiopian Jews in Israel now. Unfortunately, they left behind the, uh, the, those that we refer to as the Falasha Mora. These, the Falasha is a derogatory term. It means stranger, outcast. Uh, and by the way, this is one way to find Jewish communities. Uh, if they're persecuted by their, their neighbors for being different. Uh, but the uh, Falasha means stranger, but Mora indicates these Ethiopian Jews that at some point in their history, uh, off, often in the last generation, uh, or uh, going back as far as the last century, the 19th century, uh, it's the 21st now, but uh, two centuries, uh, these people converted to Christianity, Orthodox Christianity. Now, they're not tr necessarily true believers. Most of them aren't. But they did this to avoid persecution. They did this to maintain their land. And Israel rejected these people. They were left behind, tens of thousands. The Lord sovereignly led me to Ethiopia to help these uh, Ethiopian Jews that are identified as Christians. So they're, they're suffering the persecution as Jews by their own people in Ethiopia, but they're rejected by Israel for being Christians between a rock and a hard place, exactly what we endure as Messianic Jews. So the Lord really led us to these people that we were already uh, familiar with uh, living in terrible conditions. Then the B'nai Menashe uh, is, is another discovery going back to the 50s, and it's really the, the rabbis in Israel that have made the determination that these are in fact Jews. And uh, so we acknowledge that decision and we seek to help these people uh, with medical care, eye care, dental care, and most importantly, the gospel. And many of them are extremely open to the gospel. What we're also finding is that these uh, uh, communities are coming to us as we do these clinics and, reach, and we're helping thousands of people. And recently I met representatives from Somaliland that are from a tribe called the Eber tribe. Now, they have some recognition in Israel, but, but they're, they're not very well known. But they heard about Jewish Voice, they heard about our medical clinics, and they came to see us in Ethiopia. So they're coming to us now. But the Lord sovereignly is orchestrating all this, and it's a direct fulfillment of, I think, of Isaiah 11, 11, where he says that the outcasts of Israel will be restored. How are the outcasts of Israel restored? They first have to be identified.